Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Welcome to Fixing Goodwin. This is going to be a sort of mini-series that we're going to be doing hopefully every other day whilst we wait for the launch of the game on November 5th. Basically, we're going to come in here to Goodwin House, this is the first tutorial level, and fix it up a bit. To be honest with you, it isn't really broken. It's actually, a, it was a really great tutorial level. Showed some of the basics off very clearly. But I just wanted to come in and give me, uh, give the geekism twist, so it's supposed to speak. Um, it's going to be in real time, so as I can batch record these a little bit, so you'll get a really great idea of how my sort of creative process works. And we're going to start with these p-file here, because I would really love for these p-file to be, um, to be able to be walked through an uh, exhibit. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to basically clear the whole thing out and look at starting again getting rid of all of that there's actually quite a few in here it's, it's just the one male and then loads of females so we're going to clear all this out we're going to have a complete new go at this uh okay that's everything so now what we'll do is we're going to put these into storage just for a little while just until their new setup is oh before we do let's have a look at terrains the terrains way off look um, let's just fix, tell you what, let's fix the terrain while we've got them here. So we need loads less short grass and a lot more soil. Um, and actually, it doesn't really ma matter what the thing's going to look like, because we're going to completely cover it up anyway. We're going to have this as to be a nice big walkthrough courtyard. So we can pop all of these away. Now, obviously, I won't have the sort of highest level of detail that you're perhaps used to seeing from me just purely because of a time restraint uh, and wanting to get some of these pre-recorded for you and playing live as well i mean there are certain things in the game like rock work and stuff that can take the best part of three hours to do a square foot so um bear that in mind as well won't you but hopefully it'd be fun to kind of see my uh, process that i go through in my head not that i'm an expert in this by the way i just want to point that out there are people out there a million times better at this but i know where. Uh, I know a lot of people do enjoy my stuff, so that's cool with me. Basically just clearing out the area so that we really know the space we've got to work with. And what we're going to have to do here is really be clever about how we make this into a walkthrough exhibit using things like uh, buildings and stuff. Okay, so uh, let's just let them all pop off. There we go. And now we'll get rid of the actual barrier itself for a moment. Um, let's come into here. Let's open this up. The good thing about Goodwin Manor is um, you've already, you've got loads of stuff researched uh, before you even begin, which is pretty fun. So we've got loads of stuff to build with, um, and I think I, I, well, actually, I'm not too sure whether we have the African set. There is African stuff in here, um, but I don't know whether we've got the the build re the stuff researched to build with. Actually, thinking about it, I think actually it's just what's placed down already we can uh, use but maybe we'll go and have a look at that uh, another time to get a look at what that looks like because i know that a lot of people haven't actually seen that yet so it's pretty exciting there we go okay we clear these last few out and we are done okay so that's the space we've got to work with we're going to get rid of our donation buckets as well because they're not going to be really seen from where we're going to be now and what i want to do is like i say build a sort of uh, construction around it it might look a little funny but the idea i'm going for is a, is like a stables like an old stables or maybe even like an old exhibit uh, years ago you can have a look online there's some uh, fantastic well they're not fantastic they're horrific but i suppose they're fantastical in the idea that that's how we used to do it um, there's some crazy builds of um pictures of, of like victorian um, zoo, zoo, I was going to say gyms for some reason, Victorian zoos, where uh, where the I mean the the amount of space they gave for animals was was really quite horrific, and um, and they would and they were literally cages, you know, and a lot of the time, uh, despite them being terrible uh, welfare wise for animals, the buildings themselves are listed, um, meaning that they can't be touched and they need to be kept for sort of architectural um history so these buildings are often still there but now they're used for storage uh, or maybe they're turned into a cafe or something like that or maybe they're just used to sort of remind us how awful these places used to be and how good they how good we've got it now with them uh, okay so i'm thinking something like that and then here i just actually want um two points going in Uh, like so um, 
maybe one. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. If we do one like that, that'll probably be an interesting way of getting in there. There you go. And we'll do something on the other side as well. So, I mean, how, how the guest flow is going to work here, I'm not too sure. It might get, it might even get a little bit backed up. We might have to look at um, sort of thinning them out a little bit through other ways. But this is really going to be one of those throw enough and some of it sticks kind of series, really. You know, where we can really just sort of dive in there and and just kind of play around with some concepts, play around with some ideas. Like, I'm not even sure if I can actually get paths to these buildings as they sit at the minute. Um, there's that phone again. I, heard, I don't know if you, I'm not sure the microphone will pick it up, but there's, I think it's a car phone outside. Like somebody sat in their, in their phone using, uh, wire, sat in their car, excuse me, using wireless. It's so loud. <laughs> I'm on the fourth floor and I can, I can literally, I was looking around finding what, what was ringing yesterday because I don't really have anything in my house that rings. We, we don't have a house phone and, and our mobiles are all set to silent. And they just vibrate. And I was just thinking, I was wondering around thinking, what on earth is that noise? Okay, so I'm thinking that's kind of the space we want. Very much like an old school courtyard. And like I say, I think I might even go down this idea of it uh, once being... Um, once being an old, awful place where animals were kept that they've had to kind of keep for historical reasons. There are, there are some really great iron bars... Um, I think they're called iron. Well, they might be copper. Here we go. Yeah, these. These are the exact sort of thing they would have used. Because uh, obviously, like, reinforced glass uh, and all that just wasn't really a thing. So they would use these large wrought iron or, or copper, um, copper bars to create habitats for the animals. And, I mean, I mean this looks small... But literally, they would they would have a tiger pacing up and down in this space, and it's horrific to think about, really. Um, how many's along there? Three. Okay, so let's move those two that way, that one into the middle, and then we'll uh, we've got a brick pillar, right? Let's have a look. Where are you, brick pillar? There we go. And then we can add these in for just to break up that wall, but then also it's going to add a little bit of structural integrity or uh, the image of it. Sorry, I should point out that, that these things don't actually mean anything as far as the game's concerned. They're purely for show. I've just realized the whole building, at least that bit anyway, is off the ground. So if we come out of here and just uh, let's just sink that down a little bit. There we go. So we don't have that trouble again. There we go. Put those in there. And duplicate them over. So there is... Have I, have I, I've not, I'm not built in the middle here, have I? Look. Like an idiot. Okay, that must be the middle then. We can probably make that work. <laughs> Here's me. Eagle eye in it. Oh no, because that's... Oh yeah, that's okay. How weird. Oh, because the, these were already there, weren't they? I've got to do that. Oh, it's built off this grid. Look, it's so annoying, this. If you come out, it usually sorts itself out again. There we go. That fixes itself. Hopefully, that's fixed in beta. There is a possibility, of course, that they've extended the beta, and I'm making these for absolutely no reason. But, I mean, if, I'll throw them out anyway, you know. But, yeah, there is a possibility of that. So, path work, then. What I want to do is make sure that path isn't connected. Now, whether or not it is, I don't know. Let's go for this grid here. Looks like we can do it. What we want it to do is just let us in at these points. It looks like it's going to stay separate, although we might they might still clip. I, I don't know. We're going to have to have a look. If they do, oh, see that there, look, is, they're all locked off there. That's interesting. We're just a little close on that side, are we? Okay. Well, as long as we've got enough points of entry, I don't mind too much. So we can just, as long as we can get enough of these in, so is that, why is that not connected there? So there's plenty of ways into the space. And I realise we're building with uh, wooden paths here as well, which we'll, we'll probably have to change thinking about it. There we go. As long as we've got enough of these that are going to go in. Oh, 
no, that one just doesn't want to. Okay. So all the ones that where it doesn't want to, we'll 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 block up the doors and we can kind of we can write our own law in that it's that there's a you know there's a problem with the fixtures and fittings and stuff. So let's get rid of that. Move that in and move that in and duplicate that. So we need to open this up for guests to be able to get in there. So let's have a look at some brick archways. We have these ones that are actual full-on arches. They're pretty good. Or oh, we've just got the the front cover in there. Or oh, we also have that one. Oh, that's the sandstone brick. Okay, so I think we're going to go use this one. We're going to knock it down to two metre grid. There we go. And we can place you there and you there. Okay. Get rid of that and that. And then go back to our brick columns and pop those in. It's a good way, if you need to, make slightly thinner walls. You can usually get away with something like this. Looks like we're going to be a little under there. That's fine. We can maybe just add a bit of detail to make it look again like we meant to. It's always good if you can, I've said this before in videos, if you can't hide it, bring attention to it and then it always looks like you did it on purpose. So here we can just place something like that down and then instantly you've got a little bit of detail on there that looks like you meant to do it. So let's bring those over. Oh, so there we're, we're, we're on that side. Ah, I see what, what's happened. It's that one's out of sync there. We might as well do it to match now, though. Although we might have issues with the roof in there. But otherwise, okay. So basically, I'm going to copy all that. And stick it in there. And then just get rid of one of those that's there. And then we've got our walkthrough. So what we will have to do, I think, is is move the path out a little. Maybe even have one of these over there as well. So we've got different ways for people to walk in and out. So let's duplicate that. That should just pop into place. Perfect. Um, and maybe we'll leave that one closed over there. Okay. So back to pass then. I'm going to just put them hopefully right across there. Oh, it doesn't want me to, does it? Look at that. There's that. There we go. That's what we want. Good. And then uh, here. Uh, let's just take that back a little. Because it doesn't really matter that it's straight because we're going to cover most of the floor here anyway. Um, one thing I will do is just bring that out this way a little to give people a spot to walk around. There we go, and the same this side. Although we're gonna leave the other side free. It really, I mean, I know, I realize by the way that this looks horrific, it's all gonna get covered up in a minute anyway. Um, so we're gonna come back into this building and go to uh, flat roofs. Um, so we've we've got a plain brick, but we can't use it on the wall, so I think it might start looking a bit too samey. Uh, we've got breeze block, which kind of just looks like a, like an old school paving, I think. Uh, we've also got flat concrete. Uh, there's this asphalt one, but that again looks more like poured concrete, doesn't it, in, in blocks. Um, and that's no good. And that's a little too orangey, I think. Right, I think the breeze block wins it then, actually. And then what we can do is place that down here. Now, don't worry about this bit of clipping uh, with the terrain. We will get rid of that momentarily. There we go. Just going to place this everywhere it needs to be. Right up to there. Um, and we'll place it here as well. Although that will need another go at it in a moment. Okay, so let's just select all those. Like that. And those three on the end there. We're going to split them from the building. They're there on their own grid. We can just lift them up ever so slightly. I don't actually mind a little bit of it because it kind of looks like messy like straw or something. But I think for the sake of this, we might as well have all of it. And the only thing we'll have now is their, their feet might clip a little through it. But, I mean, it's really nothing crazy. 
you won't notice 99% of the time whilst playing the game. Okay. And that's the guest feed, by the way. The animals will uh, will raise above it because they're, you know, they're just better souls. All right, we're going to pull this back to where the path ends. All right. And then we just need to come down to a two meter grid again and cover that path there. And otherwise that's good. Okay, so roof decorations. No, we want uh, wall decorations, I think. Um, where are wall decorations? Here, there we go. So we've got the breeze block base. Ble ble oh Christ, that's difficult saying it. Breeze block base. That's, uh, I don't think anywhere near fancy enough. This is much more up our street. There we go. So we'll have this as a nice bit of trim. Now I wonder if we've got a fence that goes with this. Uh, let's have a look. Classic fences. I'm not 100% sure what classic fences look like, actually. So we've got these cast iron ones, or these quite plain ones. That's actually it. They're, they're pretty intense, those, aren't they? They're pretty big. But we might get away with just kind of doing something like that with them. Because really what I want is a keep off the grass kind of thing going on here. I think we could make that work. I think that will actually look pretty good there because what we're going to do here is do some really nice classy grass uh had a go at doing this on the beta zoo uh betaville zoo um with not great uh results um but somebody posted a really great idea that was to place down hedges in the ground uh, i've just realized that all this is soil and we don't want it to be soil; we want it to be grass but we'll hopefully be able to work on that um, yeah, hedges in the ground actually could make that sort of striped uh, ground that I was looking for. And it actually worked really quite well. The problem was the savanna grass is quite, it's almost yellow. You know, it's very, very light, yellowy green. Uh, and obviously you can't change the colour of the hedges. So the, the contrast was a bit too stark. But I think here it may work really quite well because the, the natural grass here is, uh, is a much sort of deeper, uh, more classic sort of solid British grass. Her Majesty's grass! Right, let's go to... Uh, well, I'm not on the wrong thing. There we go. So grass short. So I'm going to bring the size down and literally just do that. Because that's yeah, that's what we want to be. Short grass. There we go. Bring those in. Excellent. Uh, we'll come back into this building. I've just realised we've totally missed a bit. Swing them round. Put them in there. There we go. Um, and then the only thing we need is the is the little bit of trim there. There we go. Just to kind of cap those corners off. Uh, okay. Oh dear, we've got an upset baby. Give me a sec. Sorry about that, I had a little very grumpy little boy wake up from his nap a little early, so uh, we are now a little bit further in the day, and uh, I've done a little bit of work off camera, just a little bit, just to kind of um, finish off this building a little, so we basically stuck a roof on it, and I'm now just doing a little bit of detailing around the outside of it, again, as I said before, this isn't going to be my sort of standard level of detail because well frankly i just don't have the time but i'm quite happy with how this is turning out we do need some doors on these ones here where the where the path isn't working we're uh, we're going to need some doors to kind of shut off these grassy bits so we can't see them but otherwise i mean there's people already cutting cutting through and stuff but that's what's going to happen oh we've missed a door there okay so we'll put that in Roughly where it would be anyway. And we'll put that in in a minute. Have we missed any more? So, oh, well, look at this awful state of affairs where I'm missing doors left, right and centre. This is literally just a thick pillar and a thin pillar put on top of each other. It's about as standard as you can get, but it, just, it does make such a difference. These very slight uh, changes in depth really do add so much so I think what I'm going to do here is round the doorway we have them but then also I think we have them going up to these pillars as well uh, just to kind of help with support there let's have a look at that 
Yeah, that's kind of what we've done, isn't it? So they're kind of all over the place, but they're where they need to be. So let's take this archway here, because these are both entrances, you see, so they need to be done. Um, and then we need a door, like a nice big wooden door that will fit. Let's have a look. I'm thinking something like that is actually probably pretty good, because it's almost like a barn, right? Um, so we want like a barn style door on there to say, nope, this area is closed, but there's other ones open. Again, the idea here is that this is an old building that the zoo are desperately trying to do something with because they can't get rid of it. That's kind of the look I'm going for here. So let's see, that one's open, that one's open, that one's open, and that one's open, and that one's open. So there's a good chunk of ways in to this place to come in and see the, uh, to see the, uh, what is it going to be? Peafowl. <laughs> right, so I think it's probably at this point, oh, I did the fencing, uh, the hedge in here as well, by the way. These, these are just hedges on their side, sunk in. And um, I think it's I think it's pretty pretty good at getting that sort of very posh grass kind of thing across, which is pretty good. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. So here then we need a guest gate. Um, I kind of want to sink these back a little. There we go. So we're obstructed there. I think oh we're going to have to be. I kind of forget that the path is already in place with a lot of these, so we're going to have to get rid of the path where we want these right and try and put them back in uh, guest gate there we go so hopefully we can connect those up there we go that looks good uh, we'll, we'll add all the barriers later but for now are you joking my little son has just come back out of bed at night time are you just determined to ruin this video where have you gone are you just gonna return what have you got here we've got a sock and a spatula from his kitchen set. That's what he decided to bring to me. Right, give me a second, folks. Right, third time's a charm, eh? <laughs> let's, um, let's change this around a little bit. All I wanted to do was add a clock. I just think a clock would look pretty cool on here. So let's go into walls, um, wall pieces even, and do a brick wall that's four, and take it off that grid. There we go. Uh, 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 like that. Uh, now we've got a lot of clock pieces in the game. Let's see what sort of size they are. So we have these. These are really quite good clock tower. So we're going to have to build off of this, I think, is the way to go. So there's that one, that one, that one. I think probably that one. Oops. Um, that one there that will begin it. I think clocks need to be that side, don't they? Um, oh, God, I like that one as well, you see. Can, is it Would it be ridiculous to have both? Yes. Uh, oh, that really little one, look. Uh, I want to go like that, I think. Right, I suppose the thing is to have a roof then, isn't it? Just put a roof piece on this. Pinched roofs. Now, one thing I would really love, and they never seem to have it, is just um, is just a single square pointed roof. I mean, there's that one. Oh, that could work, actually. Let's go with that. And then let's bring these up to a sensible level. There we go. That's probably a little funky, but actually it'll do. Uh, all right, clock face. I think this probably this white one is the, oh, is, it, is there a bigger one? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the one to go for, isn't it? Uh, for those wondering, it does keep time. So whatever the in-game time is, amazingly, it does keep it. There we go. That'll do, I say, I say. Like I say, a bit, you know, normally a lot more detail, but I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so what we need to do now is make the whole thing into a, an actual barrier. We're going to edit off this one. So 
we're gonna come here and we're gonna come uh oh i'd really rather it be a null barrier there we go null barriers just get a few more options with where you can go with them you see so we can come in like that and then we can come round to there we're going to, have to do it a little cleverer than that because we're going to cut through otherwise so let's shrink that down a bit it's about there there we go and then we're going to do oh, no 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 we want to move that just wants to add add to it there we go uh, again that one shrink it down a little Uh, very difficult to see how long it is. There we go. Two, there again. I'm only I'm only knowing that it's hitting that really because of the because of the noise it's making. It, it sort of clicks. Can we go all the way? Near enough. Get into about there, and then that should mean we can take it up back to that door again. There we go. Now that's a habitat. Now I don't think we have we haven't got a staff door on it, and the and the and the the keepers won't actually use uh, guest doors. So we're going to have to try. Hmm, where are we going to be able to, I didn't really think about this, to be honest with you, in the planning stage. That seems acceptable. No. There we go. Oh, I think I know why, because, because we've got path here, right? So if we come in and just take a little bit of that path out and rejoin that back up again, then we should be able to get away with one of those in there. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're going to know where that is. Did that actually go down? Yeah. So it's coming to here. Right. And could we move that a little? Could we? Yeah, there we go. No. It's really quite tricky to select the habitat when you've used null fencing. You know, just kind of like click around in the ground for it. Come on. Come on, I know you're here. There you go. Edit barrier. So what I want to try and do is take this bit and just move it ever slightly that way. I mean, that's not it at all, is it? Let's just undo that. We'll just deal with that. Okay, so let's see what we'll do then is let's go to construction. Let's find a door. Uh, something a little fancier. Right, or actually, no, not necessarily fancy, but more sort of in keeping and we'll just do that and then and the and the keepers will just clip and we'll deal with it okay there we go that looks fine that's just sort of staff door i think otherwise that should now work as an exhibit so let's bring the p file back in animal trading uh who have we got here we've got all sorts in here look i know we have them they're, they're the ones available i see so we can multi-select here which we Invalid destination. So why are you not a habitat then? What have I done wrong? Fix. Incomplete. So can you tell me where you are incomplete? This looks good. Ah. No, that looks good. That's connected. That's connected to there. That comes all the way to here, which is connected to there. That's connected. 
So there, the aha, ha 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 ha. You, I saw you. It's just finding it. There we go. I don't want paths. Right. Edit barrier. You. To there. There we go. That should do it. Now, let's try that again. Animal trading. All the P files send to Habitat 25. Nicely done. Okay. And let's just. Uh, see if we can select Habitat 25. Really should be able to click on the door, you would think. Having to find a spot where there's just Habitat there. So let's call this Peafowl um, Courtyard. Peafowl Courtyard. It's very clean and it's got a good barrier. So let's speed through the game a minute then. Let, um, I'm pausing because I'm sure there's lots of problems with the place. But I really want to get people, I want to get the animals in, excuse me, so we can see what we need to do regarding feeding them and getting water to them. And also how the guests come in and how the guests sort of interact with the space. Here we go, here they come. A gaggle of staff come in and drop them all off. Who's been in lockdown for a long time? A hippo. Unbox then. I'll sort you out another time, Mr. Hippo. Today, it is the turn of the peafowl. So, there we go. You all in? Let's see how awful it is for you now. What's up with the habitat? No plants. And the terrain's are off. Okay, so very fixable stuff. There's a little bit too much short grass. Not enough long grass, not enough soil. So, let's get some soil all in here and just hope to bring that short grass down ever so slightly there we go perfect they need a little bit more hard shelter that we can do we could do like a little lean to over here where they want to eat and stuff and also keep keep stuff going pretty uh well for the uh keepers as well so very quickly then flat uh pitch roof sorry slate um, slate roof one meter. Let's drop it down to half because that seems a little intense. Yeah, there we go. And do something like this. Yep, I'll go with that. Now, what copper things have we got that kind of fit this? Uh, there's that copper fence pillar. Oh, wow, that's kind of perfect, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, so let's get you there, there in the grass, fortunately, and we'll put, probably put one of them either, either side as well, and see if that's enough hard shelter for them. Uh, hard shelter 77, uh, now 100, okay, great. So, environment, there's too much coverage, and, and it's all topiary birds, apparently, so... I mean, there really isn't much we can do there, apart from at least put a couple of the right ones in. So Asia Temperate, let's find something in Asia Temperate that doesn't look horrific for, for this sort of British style. Um, temperate, Asian, there's got to be a few, uh, yeah, the like birch tree, that's, you know, you get birch trees in the UK, don't you? So hopefully if we put these down, uh, they will. it will increase the plants there coverage is severely inappropriate it's just the coverage isn't it there's just too much of the um of the oh that was a bit, a bit of a lag spike it's too much of this stuff okay so how about then how about we uh we go for something a little more thinned out hey how's that let's get rid of that birch for now because it'd be nice if we had uh, oh actually we'll keep them ones and just go we'll just move them Okay, so they can go there. There we go. And we'll just have a slightly uh, wider patch there. Get rid of all of those. Um, oh, we've got all sorts selected there. Look, never mind. That's, it's probably quicker to do it this way. So we'll select all of these. There we go. 
and that's going to really cut down on I'm even going to leave that like that uh, it's going to really cut down on, on over usage there so let's get rid of all of those ones select all of you bring you in line so you match your I mean pretty much where you need to be anyway hold on let's select all of you now I really realize that they can't walk on this so technically we could make the barrier not include all of this the problem with that is that uh, then they, they might not have enough space full stop and that's not what we want so let's see if that's helped the wee pee fowls um, there you go they know that's perfect so we don't even need any trees in there which is good because I didn't really want any trees in there I don't think it's a, a tree kind of place um, okay, so that's food and stuff, yeah. Okay, so terrain, hard shelter, grass, everything is fine. Environment is all good. So the only thing I imagine they need now... What's wrong with the habitat? Let's unpause the game for that to go up. There we go. So now it's just enrichment, which is food and toy enrichment. So the problem is that food enrichment is going to be one of those massive foliage things probably in it. And the foraging thing, excuse me. Let's have a look. Species, uh, peacocks. Uh, they are Indian peacocks. Fowl. There we go. So, food in. Oh, we have a mirror mobile. That's neat. Oh, slow feeder. There we go. That's food enrichment. Nice. We can I'd happily put down one of them. That looks way more interest. That way more sort of acceptable. Uh, and this thing, it looks. This looks cool as well, doesn't it? I'll stick one of them down for him. It's all this new stuff that isn't unlocked in the franchise mode, isn't it? Uh, and then normal food, we can have over here. And water, we'll get a water pipe in where it seems acceptable. So somewhere like that. That should that should make these peafowl pretty chuffing happy, I think. Let's have a look. Enrichment. There we go. Now they could, the only thing they're missing there really is that they could be mixed with other animals, um, but they don't need that. It helps, but they don't need it. And I think the reason that's there is that that being a hundred percent will negate any slight issues you might have with terrain, because you might have to not quite get the terrain right for some of them. Um, also, somebody mentioned that apparently the uh, peacocks showing, as in sort of popping all their feathers up, isn't actually in the game at the moment. Uh, a lot of the animations aren't. So we did know that. But I didn't realise that that was one of them. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So let's have some people come in. Well, and hope hope people come in, I should say. Anyone's going to come and have a little look at the peacocks? Yeah, there we go. And played in the water. People are coming in to see the lovely little peacocks. There we go. Injured? They're terrible, aren't they? Fighting each other. Naughty wolves, we'll get to you, don't worry. Uh, but there we go, there's our first um, our first fix. I just realised that we didn't put that there. And it isn't really a fix, to be honest. What what was there already was really quite nice. It's just uh, you know, a way of sort of coming in and giving ourselves a little bit of a creative uh, you know, problem to solve, I guess. I really thought like the idea of the courtyard. This is this is what I wanted to do in in Basinville Zoo, but the temperate biome, the, the, I mean the non-temperate biome, excuse me, just did not lend itself to it at all. Uh, but here we've actually kind of got um, what we wanted to do. I'm just realising like, this is what you get for rushing bits that we're missing. But otherwise, yeah, look at that. We've now got a lovely old courtyard, like old stables maybe, or like I say, you could have had it as an old animal thing and now it's just for the peacocks to run around. And I think uh, you could you could design your whole zoo entrance around this idea of making the entrance plaza a walkthrough. And it gives you that sort of free roaming peafowl uh, impression that's um, that I think is really quite important in zoos. Although some people will like, I've never heard of that before, but it's every zoo I've ever been to. I've seen there's at least some, course of, some sort of waddling around bird. Uh, but there you go. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until the next one, be good.